really have a way from a global standpoint to say, hey, here are 10 great ideas within the company, and here are ways that we think that any newspaper out there can either do these as wholesale projects or can at least do pieces of it. So we really wanted to find an aggressive way to be able to kind of communicate that as well. So we felt that, you know, inviting you folks to, to here to, you know, present these projects, to us to be able to communicate it through uh, GH News and other avenues would be a really nice first step to us being able to hopefully over time uh, maybe build a, a unique website that would be just best practices throughout the entire company. So uh, that was kind of the thought process on why we wanted to do the Your Big Idea series. The other piece was you all have done projects, obviously it's why you're here, you've done some sort of project, whether that's a new feature, a new website. And we wanted to really kind of, I mean I've been in a newsroom, I know how projects go, and a lot of times it's a, you know, you know, editor comes and gives an idea, the next thing you know, we have something launching the next week. And we, we really wanted to try to develop a program that helps you kind of think through the launch of a project. And every project can't be the eight steps, but maybe there are pieces of the eight steps that can be part of projects. So it's really to kind of help you really kind of think through the process of, you know, how to really kind of launch a project. Um, we recognize that back home in a lot of these newspapers, there are steps and there are processes in place as you launch projects. We hope that you can kind of take some of the best practices that you learned during this session and be able to not necessarily go home and review everything that's in play, but kind of look at your process and say, you know, editor I or publisher I, you know, we, we kind of learned this, and I think this might be a good way to, you know, improve the process we already have in place. So I hope no matter what kind of size paper you're at or kind of where you are at your kind of level in terms of management, that you can kind of take some of that, some of those best practices away. Um, we feel like we've got a lot of really neat things. I, I actually went through a, a session like this at Pointer about three months ago, and uh, there were 30 ideas, and uh, I just felt really energized about our industry and about kind of the potential that's out there, and I hope you leave the same, I hope, I hope you leave feeling the same way. Uh, a lot of neat web stuff, a lot of neat print stuff, um, a lot of you know big projects, and the Stark County project, the Addicted to Porn project, is just kind of the, with all the challenges we have, we're still doing that kind of really big and cool journalism. I think you'll, you hope you'll leave here pretty motivated about kind of what some of your colleagues are doing. Speaking of your colleagues, I hope that you build relationships here. I know that maybe in other companies you've been part of, you've gone to these things and you kind of have relationships with the people that you go through these classes with. This is a, a great networking opportunity. This is a great opportunity to kind of hear challenges that maybe two weekly newspapers, two weekly newspaper editors are kind of facing or you know, two big daily editors are facing. So I really hope you encourage you to network as much as you can um, as part of this, uh, part of this training. So.